The pace of change in the organisations I work with when it comes to DEI is like the tide. It ebbs and it flows. We saw after the murder of George Floyd in 2020 an absolute explosion of commitments being made by organisations across the globe and some really meaningful change was made. And then over the past couple of years, with the, especially the toxic environment increasingly in the States, we see that the pace is slowing and in some cases really dangerously going backwards. For example, if we look at LGBTQ plus rights. So my call is let's keep the commitment that we found in 2020 and 2021. The world is only going to perform at a higher rate and be more successful if we are diverse. The areas of diversity, equity, inclusion that have had the most improvement um, is undoubtedly gender. Gender we've seen improve over the past decade quite significantly. The one thing I will say though is that the core metrics and the core stats aren't changing. So we are definitely seeing more women move through medium level management up to senior level management. But when it comes to representation of women on boards, it is nowhere near where it needs to be. We're also seeing increased stats around sexual harassment and gender-based harassment uh, generally. So as with everything when it comes to people, it's complicated. We're seeing the progress, but there's still a lot more work to do. The areas in DEI which still require significant change is undoubtedly when it comes to the global ethnic majority. Representation, especially within large cities such as London or Birmingham, Liverpool or Manchester, are way under representative of the population and where the organisations are based. So for example, 46% of London is black, Asian, mixed ethnicities. And how many businesses have a 46% representation in their colleague or manager communities? The answer will be none. So if we were to focus on something going forward into 2025, I would do a real call to action to all businesses within the property sector to really focus on how we increase inclusion for the global ethnic majority. The importance of forums like this is that when people get together, they get competitive. They see what other people are doing, they learn what other people are doing, and it stretches their ambition and their expectations. It may sound a bit cynical to say that it's all about competition, but we are human in the end. And if we see one of our competitors doing great stuff when it comes to LGBTQ plus inclusion or gender inclusion, it makes us want to do the same. So I love seeing a little bit of competitive spirit at these uh, events.